can tell by the title of the video wherever it's at this is going to be my one month um postpartum slash baby blues ppd levi peeking in the background video so let me get right into it um let's talk about him first okay so him being yuri my baby um so with him right now one month really all he's doing is pooping eating and sleeping um when he was born he was seven pounds seven ounces 19 inches um we went to the doctors yesterday he had a doctor's appointment and um he was at nine pounds six and a half ounces and 20 and a quarter inches long so he is a big boy he has gained <laughs> he has gained some weight since um since i had him a month ago um one month ago, one month ago today um other than that he's had um when it gets cold i noticed that his hands and his feet turn like this purple color but i asked the doctor about that yesterday and he said that that was normal also, it seemed like, um, ugh, my lips. They're sexy. Ugh, they look crusty. Anyway, um, his breathing, I notice sometimes when, um, he sleeps, he's trying to catch his breath, or that's what it sounds like, but the doctor said that that was normal too, so, um, other than that, with him, he's a pretty good baby. He only cries um, when he's like hungry or he's like trying to fight asleep or he needs his diaper changed. So he's a pretty good baby. Um, as for me, um, I weighed, before I got pregnant, I weighed 142. Uh, at my heaviest, um, before I gave birth, I was like 180 something, 184, 185. And now I'm back down to 151. So I still have a couple of more pounds to lose um, before I'm back to my pre-pregnancy weight. But I'm cool with that. Um, let's see, what else is going on with me? Um, <clears throat> more on the serious note, um, and I have a belly shot for you in a second too. But more on a serious note, um, I want to talk to you guys about uh, baby blues slash postpartum depression. After I had Yuri, uh, for the first two and a half weeks, I would say, um, I don't know if it was baby blues or if I was having a slight case of PPD, but um, yeah, it was it was pretty intense. Um, you know, I was I was feeling depressed. I was feeling, you know, just totally unmotivated. Like, I didn't want to get up out of bed. I didn't want to do anything. I didn't want to be bothered with anybody. Um, I just felt fatigued, tired. Um, I had a lot of anxiety, panic attacks I would get if I felt just really overwhelmed. Um, and so the first two and a half weeks were, like, really bad for me. I had to seek out some help and, um, you know, thankfully, you know, thank God for family because if I didn't have family to, you know, be there for me and support me during my rough times, um, I, I really don't even know, you know, where I would be right now, um, as far as my mental condition and, and everything, it was just really rough for me, um. Thank God, too, for Levi's aunt. She um, is really knowledgeable with these essential oils that um, I ended up getting. If you know someone or um, are just suffering from baby blues or postpartum depression, um, my advice to you would be to seek out help. Um, if you're suffering from it or if you know someone that is suffering from it, please be there for them and give them the help that they need because it is definitely needed for them and it's i'm pretty sure most appreciated 
Um, but more importantly, I found for me, if you're not a person that wants to deal with medication or be on medication, that essential oils really helped me out. Um, there's a company called doTERRA and they have certified um, therapeutic essential oils 100% um, certified and um, they really helped to get me in a better state of living and being and dealing on a day-to-day um, -day basis. So um, I would really look into that um, or if you know you just can't deal then please talk to your doctor so they can give you the help that you need because um, I didn't know beforehand that it's that bad but when you're going through it and you and it's you that it's happening to it really is um, you know, it's just something you can't explain if, if you've never been through it um, it's rough it really is rough. I mean, I had times throughout the day where I would just break out crying for no reason. Just no reason at all. Just break down and cry. Because um, I was just overwhelmed with whatever was going on that day. So, um, please seek out the help. Because you definitely do need it. <laughs> um, if you don't have family, go talk to somebody. And talk to a doctor. They'll give you the help that you need, send you to a, a therapy group or something. But definitely seek out the help. Um, so I'm going to give you guys a belly shot. So you can see my belly one month postpartum. That is Yuri crying in the background. He is not happy. But let me give you this belly shot. So this is me with the shirt on from the side, from the front. This is me from the side, from the front. And I had a little gut <laughs> before I got pregnant anyway. So, and then I got a couple of stretch marks there and they only they only appeared like literally a week before I had the baby. <laughs> I was like, no, <laughs> but whatever, it's not that bad. And then I'll show you guys my, um, if you can see there, my um, incision for my C-section. Sorry if that's TMI for you, but it is what it is. So that's my, my, my scar there. I'm pretty proud of it. Um, <laughs> and then um, I will show you guys my baby. Here's my little man. One month. One month today. We are first night. One month. Yay. But there he is. Looking at, I don't know what he what he's looking at right now, but can you see him eyes? You really can't see it from the video, but they're so cute. They're like a gray green. Oh my god, Carla, he's gonna have eyes like his dad. He's gonna have eyes like his dad. But this is my little man's. He's so cute. And oh, I forgot to tell you, he's like trying to hold his head up. Oh no, oh no, oh no. I'm trying to hold his hands up. He's held his bottle as best as he can for like a couple of seconds. It was so cute. And then the other day he was trying to put his thumb in his mouth. <laughs> so yeah, that is us one month postpartum. I will be doing um, videos on us, myself and Yuri every month. I'm gonna try to do one every month. Just to keep you guys, um, you know, updated on how we're doing. So if you want to check that out, subscribe to my channel. So you can stay informed on what's going on with me and Yuri. And Levi too. Anyway, 
and that is what's going on with us that one month I hope you guys like the video um, check out my labor and delivery video I also have what do I have besides my labor and delivery video as far as we go I have something else anyway subscribe check them out see you in the next video